Okay, guys. Um, so if you didn't see the previous video, which was a short, I guess, because it was under a minute long, about Michael and Jolinda, let me give you a quick heads up. Last night at work, Michael cut his hand right here. It goes right like that pretty deeply. And if you go to my Instagram and Facebook page, you can see a picture of it um, at work. So he was sent to the hospital nearest his employer, which is actually in Peru, a town north of us. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so he, of course, you know, texted Jolinda, hey, I need you to come up to the hospital. They're probably going to have to do stitches and I don't like needles. So anyway, Jolinda, uh, her parents were taking her up to him and in the process of getting there, uh, for some reason or another, uh, her dad had to suddenly slam on his brakes. Well, Jolinda, who 99% of the time wears a seatbelt, wasn't wearing a seatbelt and went flying out of her seat. She was in a back seat of a town and country minivan <clears throat> and managed to snap her ankle in two places. Um, I haven't seen the x-rays, but I hear it's, it, she did it good. So, and please keep in mind, she is 18 weeks pregnant, I think, at this point. So, they splinted her, you know, set it and splinted her. They did not give her any, uh, really any pain meds because she is pregnant. Last night, they did try to numb it up, but she was still feeling everything before they said it. Now, she said after they said it, it felt better because they finally had all those bones lined up properly. But anyway, Michael contacted me just a few. Sorry. <laughs> my scalp is itchy because I've had my hair up too long. Um, Michael just called. He had just gotten back from the pharmacy. They did give her an extremely low dose of a hydrocortisone Tylenol mix. And they gave her some Tylenol PM to help her sleep. Um, <clears throat> she's having a hard time getting around. So if you don't understand, Jolinda is, um, she's not a size two. I'm not saying she's, you know, it's just hard when you're uh, not a size two <laughs> to get around when you have a wounded limb, especially when the limb is your leg. So anyway, she is home. He is home. He ended up getting this super glued. They decided not to stitch it. I think part of the reason they decided that is because it took them so long to see him. By the time it was said and done, he was there for like three hours before they ever saw him. And it's nothing against the hospital. They were extremely swamped last night. Um, so, I mean, it is what it is. You know, when you're in an ER, that's how it happens. Priorities more urgent care to the urgent ones. So, oh, <clears throat> excuse me. He said his hand is hurting really bad. Of course, Jolinda's leg is hurting really bad. They came and got my wheelchair last night to get her into the house. Um, hoping that my chair doesn't get stolen because I don't, I hope they don't have it sitting outside. Uh, our town is not not very um, good, I mean, for that. You can't leave stuff sitting outside like that. So anyway, uh, please continue to pray for them. She does have to call an orthopedic doctor on Monday and get that scheduled. Heaven only knows what that's going to turn into. I'm praying it's not surgery. I'm praying they can just set her permanently and cast it. Hopefully in like a walking boot because mobility for her is extremely important right now, especially with being pregnant. Unfortunately, because she is pregnant, healing will take even longer. As most of pe most people know, when you're pregnant, your blood flow is about that baby and not anything else. So hopefully, <laughs> oh, I, I laugh out of just, I'm not laughing at her. It's just this whole situation is so crazy. And 2022, it's what, January 15th? And it has sucked. Like, oh my God, sucked so far. Um, I have been extremely sick. Uh, our van broke down. Thankfully, we were able to get it fixed. But 
our van broke down. There's some behind the scenes situation with our family going on that I'm not Richard and I and not our children, uh, but our my extended family and us, Richard and I, are having some issues. And it's just like, how they hate it. I, 2020, 2021, well, we got our place. We found out we're having grandbaby number five. We got to go bring home our Seth right before the end of the year, right before Christmas. We got to go get Seth and bring him home. So there was, you know, a few good points in 2021, but 2022 is like, okay, for those three good points, I'm going to kick your butt for the next month. Anyway, guys, didn't mean for this to turn into a bit of a rant. Please pray for Jolinda and Michael as they go through this and as she heals. Um, she was so worried about her baby last night. I will say that when she was thrown out of the seat, she instinctively protected her belly Probably how she hurt her ankle, actually, is because of the way she moved to protect the belly. Um, and the baby's heartbeat was fine. The baby's movement was fine. So baby is doing good and is okay, thank God. Jolinda will be okay. It's just going to be a rough road for a while. Uh, and, yeah, there's all that. Oh, and we found out that my dad is in stage five kidney failure and has to start doing dialysis. I knew there was something else like major going on this month. So yeah, you know, all the things have happened in 2022 so far. I hope y'all are having a better year. I really hope you have a fantastic weekend. It is a beautiful day outside. It's cold, but it, there is sunlight and some blue sky and I'm feeling a little energetic. I'm going to get some more housework done. And I just want to be happy with that. Just need to focus on that, right? Please forgive the glasses. Like I said, I'm going to do housework and yada, yada. I don't even know if I'm putting in my contacts today. So, but I wanted to do this update after posting that quick, short thingy last night. Thank you guys so much for your prayer and your love and your support. And I will see you guys in a much better video later. Bye.